Hey everyone, I'm Colleen with Awaken Catholic and this is Awaken the Saint. Saint Nicholas Owen was known during his life as Little John. Unlike the figure from the story of Robin Hood, however, this Little John was actually as small as his name might suggest. But his stature didn't stop him from being a very big help to countless priests who lived during dangerous times. While we don't know the date of Owen's birth or the details of his upbringing, we do know he was a skilled craftsman of some kind, possibly a carpenter or a builder. We know this because Owen is famed primarily for the construction of many houses during his life. These houses, however, weren't the kind that a person would sit down and relax in. Owen's houses were built with a single purpose, to hide Catholic priests who were being endangered for practicing their faith. His work began around the late 1500s, when English law was harsh on Catholic believers, especially on priests, who had been banished from England and could be put to death if they were caught. Owen wasn't just skilled in his profession, he was a genius. He was known for finding the most unexpected places to carve out a hiding space, and disguising them so cleverly that the priests remained hidden even under close inspection. Though he was not clergy himself, he practiced his craft with priest-like devotion. He would always begin his work with receiving the Eucharist and remained in constant prayer during the construction process. He also never accepted any form of payment for his services, apart from the honor of the service itself. In 1594, Owen was betrayed to the authorities. He was captured along with Father John Gerard, a fellow member of the Order of Jesus, and tortured for hours on end. Despite this treatment, Owen did not give his captors any information. Deemed by many in his acquaintance as too valuable to be left in prison, he was bailed out by an anonymous man for a considerable sum. Undeterred by his capture and torture, Owen resumed his self-appointed task of defending the country's priests. And he started by carrying out a daring plot to free Father John Gerard by hanging a rope across the moat of the tower where he was kept. For many years, Owen continued making use of his talents, until in 1606, when he was again discovered. This time, he voluntarily left his hiding place, posing as a priest so that the two actual priests with him might escape safely. Following his imprisonment, Owen suffered even more painful tortures, often being hung by his arms with weights attached to his legs for six hours at a time. He remained steadfast, refusing to give away the names or locations of any priests he knew. The torture became so severe that he was inflicted with serious internal injuries and died on the spot. The hiding places Nicholas Owen created were so clever and so abundant that they are still being discovered in old buildings within England even today. It really says something about him that he dedicated his life to creating spaces that were designed to never be found. We too should be glad even when our good works go undiscovered. As Jesus said, your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. St. Nicholas Owen, pray for us. Thank you for tuning in to Awaken the Saint.